move on to sports now. Here's Ayo Tunde Balogun. Gianni Infantino has succeeded fellow Swiss Sepp Blatter as president of the World Football Governing Body, FIFA. The UEFA Secretary General polled 115 votes. That's 27 more than closest rival Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. A simple majority of more than 50% available votes was sufficient for victory in round two. World football power will stay in Europe as Swiss Gianni Infantino has emerged the new FIFA president. World football power will stay in Europe as Swiss Gianni Infantino has emerged the new FIFA president. Infantino beat Salman Al Khalifa, Prince Ali bin Al Hussein, and Jerome Champagne to replace the outgoing Seblata. Infantino has spent over a decade in football administration. He is the current General Secretary of Europe's football ruling body, UEFA. He is also a serving member of FIFA's Reforms Committee, which keeps him active in the process of cleaning the corruption plagued organization. Many people who love football, who live football, who breathe football every day. And many people who deserve that FIFA is highly respected. And we will restore the image of FIFA and the respect of FIFA. And everyone in the world will applaud us and will applaud all of you for what we'll do in FIFA in the future. We have to be proud of FIFA and everyone has to be proud of FIFA and we have to be proud of what we will do together. There has been widespread allegations of corruption in FIFA, the arrest of leading officials, the bans placed on Blatter and Platini and the sight of big name sponsors leaving the organization. Well, the Nigerian Football Federation has quickly moved to announce the national under-23 team coach Samson Siasia as the new Super Eagles coach following the resignation of Sunday Olisa. He will work with the Super Eagles assistant coach Salisu Yusuf, a flying Eagles coach Emmanuel Amanike and Aloy Agu for the upcoming 2017 AFCON qualifiers against the Pharaohs of Egypt. The combination was recommended by the NFF Technical and Development Committee following Sunday Olisa's resignation in the early hours of today. Siasia served as Super Eagles head coach between December 2010 and October 2011 before his contract was terminated following the team's failure to qualify for the 2012 AFCON. And that's wrap in Sports News. I'm Ayotunde Balogun. The News at 10 continues shortly. Nine people have been killed in an explosion by Al-Shabaab militants in the Somali capital Mogadishu. Authorities say a popular park known as the Peace Garden was also targeted by the militants and police reportedly shot and killed four of the attackers. Al-Shabaab had stormed the hotel, setting off a car bomb outside the heavily fortified hotel before moving in. One resident disputed the report though, saying the gunman had not managed to get inside the hotel and had been repelled by security guards. The Youth League Hotel is said to be popular with government personnel. Now, millions of Iranians are participating in two key elections in what's the first since a deal with world powers over the country's nuclear program and the lifting of sanctions. Here's Cynthia Are with more. It's a significant moment for Iran and voters are choosing a new parliament, an assembly of experts and a clerical body that appoints the supreme leader. Reformists are hoping to increase their influence in both institutions which have been dominated by conservatives. Then just like we told you yesterday, a delegation of five African leaders are currently in Burundi, rounding up their two-day visit to push for talks to end the deep political crisis. The visit comes the same week as the UN Secretary General's one-day trip, during which he was able to convince President Tukurunziza of Burundi to not only engage in dialogue with the opposition, but also release 2,000 prisoners. Finally, Uganda opposition leader Kizabesige is just about ready to exercise his fundamental 
fundamental human rights. His lawyers are in the process of filing a case today in regard to his repeated house arrest. You recall that Mr. Besige was picked up at his party's headquarters this time last week, even though he was taken home later that day. That's the foreign news wrap up. The news at 10 continues shortly. Thanks a lot, Cynthia. And on entertainment news tonight, Nollywood actress Omotala Akende hobnobs with Hollywood stars in Beverly Hills. Let's hear from Maya Wahogundili. Many thanks on entertainment news tonight. Actress Omotola Jaladi Akende was one of the movie stars at the Black Women in Hollywood Awards luncheon, which held at the Beverly Wilshire Four Seasons Hotel in Beverly Hills, California, on Thursday. At the event, Jaladia Kendi met with notable figures in the American showbiz industry, including media mogul Oprah Winfrey, singer Estelle, half of a Yellow Sun actress, Tandy Newton, Boris Kojo, and several others. It appears trouble is brewing between HK and Act B Red and rapper Young Six. In a post on social media, B Red threatened to physically assault the rapper and his associates if their paths ever cross. It is unclear what the reason for the threat is, however, Young Six made headlines several weeks ago after he threatened to expose big shots in the industry for injustice against him. Young Six is yet to respond to this threat. Chocolate City music boss Emaya Baga got many fans and industry watchers wondering who Young Denzel is. The renowned rapper got a lot of eyebrows raised with the promotion of the new identity on his social media platforms where he has a combined followership that's over 1.2 million strong. In an interview with Entertainment News, the music executive disclosed Young Denzel is the title of a new project is getting set to release. He also said it is how it would like to be described. The day when you go hit me, go and tell me it's not a devil walk. By the time I finish with you, a devil, eh? Now look, you go use your mother to the testimony. Nollywood fans now have a first look at the upcoming movie Wives on Strike. The movie by actress come producer Omoni Oboli stars Uche Jombo, Shoma Pota, Ufama Magdamot, Kendi Bankole, Kalui Kongu, comedian Julius Argo, and several others. Wives on Strike is Oboli's third effort after being Mrs. Elliot, which was released in 2014, and First Lady, a 2015 film. Actress Adesua Itomi is Banky W's love interest in the newly released music video for the song Made For You. The visual piece was directed by Banky W in New York. Chocolate City's Ruby Gang has released the EP titled This Is Love alongside a video for the song Shakara featuring Ajay Bota. The video to Shakara was directed by Clarence Peters and was shot in Lagos State. Gaze is set to release a video for his love song Titi Lai. The singer took to social media to share pictures taken behind the scenes of the shoot directed by Avalon Oprah. Well, that's it. Many thanks for watching. The News at 10 continues shortly. Thanks a lot, Maiwa. And the main news again. The Supreme Court today upheld the death sentence handed down to the general overseer of the Lagos-based Christian Praying Assembly, Rev. Chukwemeka Izugu. And that's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. I'm Idjoma Kunyato. Do have a great weekend. Good night.